Oh my god. Oh, stop it! Yeah. Stop it! No! Yeah. You look like a breather. Right, where's the... This isn't a painting tutorial. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't have any dust sheets. I'm using bin bags. guys welcome back to my channel you'll have to excuse the setup obviously i'm in my car um today's video is going to be um me decorating and hopefully with some help from rye because he's off work for the next couple of days um me decorating our downstairs bathroom or downstairs toilet actually um basically it's the like the smallest well it's quite a big downstairs loo to be fair but i just feel like it needs a bit of updating it's a bit boring the walls are still cream and as you know we are painting the entire house white i think i mentioned that anyway in my last um video when we did the paneling but since we've got bertie we haven't been able to do any more painting so for the next couple of days i thought i'd start on sort of an easier room even though it's downstairs um just because i really like decorating and painting and whatnot so i'm gonna go out now to b and q um because i'd really like to find um an alternative color to uh perfect stone fire and ball perfect stone because I just feel like their paint is quite expensive um, and I, yeah, I just want to find a dupe for that. So I'm going to go and get them to colour match with um, yeah, Perfect Stone and see what they can come up with. And then I will bring you back home and get painting. And then we will obviously decorate and sort of accessorise as well. So let's go to being cute. <laughs> So guys, I got my paint, um, they were super, it was amazing in there actually. I literally just told him what I wanted from Pub, from Farrow and Ball. Um, I thought I'd have to take, you know, the pot, but he said that a lot of them on the, are on the system. So this is the Valspar paint. I've not used this before, so I hope it's okay, but this is the premium interior mat for walls and ceilings. Usually, obviously with um, bathrooms and things, you'd have to get like the specific glossy one that obviously wouldn't flake or anything with the condensation but because it's just a downstairs loo and there's no shower or anything in there then it's absolutely fine so um but yeah it was super easy i literally just told him the color he typed it in and produced that so <laughs> it was really quick and easy so i'm gonna go home and start painting now i'm really excited i can't wait <laughs> okay guys so this is our downstairs loo currently so please ignore the sort of mess of it this basket sort of inspired me to basically do up this bathroom so um i wanted to replace this toilet roll holder and the towel rail but i couldn't find a black one but that will have to wait um, and then i'm going to get a round black mirror these will be obviously coming down and i'm getting this is the wall that's going to be painted in um perfect stone or that paint that i've just got so this is the bathroom at the moment, sorry, toilet. Obviously I need to take all these coats off and the rail because it's wood. I mean, it's hanging off anyway. <laughs> Move all of this crap in here. <laughs> Now we've got two big holes in the wall, so I need right to come and fill those in and take these screws off. So I took the, sorry, this is actually terrible. I don't have my tripod down here. Um, I took the photos off the walls there. I'm also gonna take this mirror off the wall, basically just prep it all ready for painting. Right, it's here now. <laughs> You look like a razor. Right, where's the hole filler thing, the gap filler? Is there anything to do here? Like that, I guess. Have you done it? Mm -hmm. Oh, what the? <laughs> you actually have to take the whole thing off. No, I don't. I don't have any dust sheets, so I'm using bin bags. I have no idea because mm. it's attached to the wall. Oh, well done. How'd you do that then? Well, you put that. Yeah, it's quite a nice mirror. Maybe we'll use that upstairs. And you unscrew Ooh, that. Look at that. Now frogged 
taped um, everywhere I need to. I haven't really done the toilet properly, but I just figured as we're painting this wall white anyway, it doesn't really matter. And I haven't gone around the window either because again, it's just white and the grouting is actually a bit creamy colored. So it doesn't matter if I go over it. In fact, it would be better. So basically I'm gonna start on this wall painting it white because um, everywhere else has had holes filled in with polyfiller. <laughs> that was obviously before and now after I need to obviously finish this little bit down here and then I'm going to do that one there and then that will probably be it then for today because we haven't had dinner yet so obviously you can see it's quite like streaky in places but that is literally just where it needs another coat well I hope so anyway it's not my bad painting probably is hi guys the last time you saw me, I was painting the back wall by the toilet, uh, behind the toilet, sorry. Um, I have just done this wall here and obviously above the door frame and down there. I am now going to move on to the back wall where you're leaning against, um, where the sink is. Um, and then I'm obviously gonna wait for all that to dry and then I'll have to do a second coat, probably either later today or tomorrow. Um, it depends really how much time I've got today um, because then I will need to tape up the edge of this wall, sorry, all the other walls ready to do the dark colour. The, well, it's not dark, but it's like a beigey grey, a perfect stone. So I'm out of breath. It is so tiring doing painting and I went to the gym this morning, which was a bit silly because now I'm exhausted and I've got paint all over my gym top. So not sure how well that's going to come out, but um, yes. Anyway, I, oh, I'm i going to carry on painting and uh, I will catch up with you guys when I'm ready to do the grey wall probably because um, that's probably the more exciting part and then obviously all the decorating. Um, but yeah, the painting of white things is a bit boring. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to crack on and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it has been a long day. Oh my god. <gasps> that paint? Yeah. <laughs> It has been a long day of painting. Ooh. Um, and I am only just about to start this wall. I have finished all three coats, uh, sorry, all two coats on the three white walls. Um, the only thing I'm a bit concerned about, about painting this wall now, is that I haven't yet taped this side because this is the last wall I've done and it hasn't yet fully dried, I don't think. But I think what I'm gonna do, is just go around the edge or the edges um this side and the top and then you can like roll it and it doesn't go all smeary because the roller doesn't go right up to the edges anyway this isn't a painting tutorial i have no idea what i'm talking about i, I wouldn't have even done it like that if it wasn't for rye so <laughs> but anyway um so yeah i'm gonna crack open this paint now i haven't actually looked at it yet so i hope it's what i want i hope it's nice this is a really bad idea. Okay, oh my God, it's gorgeous. What a lovely colour. Wow, yay. I'm so pleased. The colour, guys. In fact, let me pop it up on there. And then you can see it in the light. Is that better? No idea. Um, but I've got nothing to stir it with. But anyway, look at the situation right now. I've like tried to wash this but hmm, not really happened um anyway i'm gonna crack on and paint the edge because obviously you can see i've got white all on there and go along the top um and then i will wait to do that side um and i'll do the bottom now as well but yeah i love this color i'm so pleased so i am now going to crack on with that 
and um, you guys can watch. <laughs> Enjoy. gray now that it's on it looks quite yeah lilac ye but I think I, I still like it obviously it always looks different in the pot than what it does on the wall but I'm thinking with two coats it will be the color that I want I hope so because I really don't want to have to change and paint it again honestly it's so boring I hate painting <laughs> what am I doing I decided on the two sort of abstract um, prints. They look like this up close. I'm going to have two next to each other. I decided that it's quite a big wall, so I want two prints, and I'm going to have to order some frames as well to go with it, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to pay for those now. I've got a discount code as well, found that on Instagram. So, yeah, brilliant. Now, guys, I'm ordering a Lura holder and a towel ring. How exciting. <gasps> the back wall now in the perfect stone colour. Obviously you can see around the edge it's a slightly different colour and um, that's just because I painted the outer edges yesterday and they've obviously all dried but I've painted the ceiling and a little bit on that white wall so and a little bit there as well so I'm gonna have to go over that and also this is where the towel rail is going anyway so I'm hoping it's not going to be too obvious but I might have to when it's dry sand it again and then do like another coat because where the hole was filled it doesn't look great but you know this is a diy job it's not going to be perfect i'm doing it myself so we can expect these things to happen anyway we're going to take bertie out for a walk now and i will catch up with you guys when we are doing the second coat and hopefully this will look better <laughs> guys it actually looks pretty patchy right now is it better if i turn the light off but obviously it hasn't dried yet and if i need to do a third coat i need to do a third coat there we go hey guys so um my decennio parcel has arrived so i'm just gonna unbox it um i obviously ordered I obviously ordered two um, frames as well, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they look like um, in their frames. Oh my gosh, I love them. <gasps> they are so smart. So guys, here are the prints. It's really hard to see because of the reflection, but I love them. I'm obsessed. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're really abstract and different and I can't wait to hang them up. My dad has come and put up our mirror and our two prints, a uh, towel ring and this little stick-on um, toilet roll holder, which is actually like 
amazing because it's so sticky. I didn't think it was going to be, but finishing touches for the little bathroom, toilet, whatever you want to call it, cloak room. I think it's called a cloak room, isn't it? Um, I've actually bought, it's got sticky stuff all over it, Bertie. Um, but I basically bought these, Lime Basil or Mandarin. I spoke about these in my uh, favourites video, which was my, not my last video, but the one before, Bertie. Okay. So Bertie is modelling our new bathroom, toilet, cloakroom, and he's... <laughs> he looks so upset, mate. It's not that scary up there, is it? Daddy's got you. You'll hey, be okay. No, you don't, if he doesn't want to, mate. Daddy, Daddy, tell me Good boy. That's a good boy. Come on, mate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look. Oh, look. Hello, darling. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I spoke about these in my last favourites video. This is the scent by Jo Malone and it basically smells exactly the same. Is it Jo Malone? Yeah, Jo Malone, lime, basil and mandarin. So I got the candle and the diffuser.